That... 11 years we've been trying to make this happen. And now it happens. Oh, my God. You can now play the PlayStation 1 Crash Team Racing online with up to eight players at a time with a lobby system with your own name showing up and everything in 4K, 60 FPS, and it is glorious. My buddy Blizzard Ball and I have been pursuing this for 11 years. In May 2013, we made a video trying out Netplay with a PlayStation 1 emulator back in the day to play Crash Team Racing online together, and it was full of issues. Today, it works wonderfully. It's not finished, but it's looking great. In this video, I'm going to show you how. You're going to need the Duck Station emulator, a copy of the Crash Bandicoot ROM, and some files from the CTR Online website. Everything is linked below. So, of course, head to duckstation.org, download the VC++ runtime, and run that. So we're going to go ahead and open that first. If you don't already have it installed, if you don't know, just go ahead and run it. Windows will let you know either way. It'll either install or it won't, and that's fine. These are just required libraries for running your program. And while we're waiting on that, you can go ahead and click download duck, and we are going to open that zip file, and we're going to make a folder to put it in. So I like to recommend always having a programs folder in your user folder in Windows. If you click over here, you can go to your user folder down here, and that has your documents, your downloads, whatever. I like having a dedicated programs folder for programs that don't need installed, like DuckStation. That way, whenever I make new Windows installs, need to back up, whatever, I can just back all these up all at once. So I'll make a new folder in there, DuckStation. And that way, things are just all in one place. And we'll go ahead and drag all of this out of here. I'm using 7-Zip for this, my favorite archive manager. You can just use the built-in Windows extractor. Now this says you'll need to restart it before you can use it, but it should be fine. We're going to go ahead and run DuckStation to make sure everything is good to go. English is fine. You will need a PlayStation 1 BIOS. Acquiring that is, you know what to do. I have just made a BIOS folder in my DuckStation folder and put it in there. So I'm going to browse to that right there. Select folder. Next, game directories. We're going to Probably have that in a separate place, but for now, I'm just going to put games in my DuckStation folder as well. That's fine. Yes, so that's just asking if you want to scan folders that are inside of it. Next, controller setup. We don't have any of that connected just yet, so this is fine. And finish. So it looks like DuckStation is working. Now, you need to rip your copy of Crash Team Racing or acquire it through some other means. So here I have my bin and queue from my Crash Team Racing PlayStation 1 disc rip. Over on the website, when you click Race Online Now, it is going to take you to the Crash Team Racing Online Discord server, wherein they have a link to the latest builds download that you can get, which is going to give you these X Delta files. So then you go over here to Web Patcher on the website. Choose your bin file. Choose your patch. I'm going to do the 60 FPS patch. It comes with both a 30 and 60 because sometimes the 60 FPS version of the game can crash. And I'm going to click patch. And once it's done, it will pop up a download. We're going to save that into our CTR online folder here. Now you will need to make a Q file. The DuckStation emulator website has a maker for this. So the original Q file that came with your original ROM will not work anymore, but you do need it to play the game. So you have your bin file of the modded version. So you can just drag and drop that in. It's going to make it, download the Q file, and you want to save that next to your bin file for the modded version of the ROM. So now you should have ctrunline.bin, ctrunline.q. If you ever rename your .bin file, you will have to rename the .q file to match it perfectly. And before you can run the game, there is a handful of duck station configurations you have to do here before the game will actually run without crashing, which has been my issue. So settings, console, enable eight megabytes RAM, enable cheats should be off, execution mode, new recompiler, and just go through all of these. 400% NX. Sync spin up. Infinite. Aspect ratio, 16 by 9. Close. 
settings, controllers, and you want in all other ports set to not connected. Now it should work. It works. Okay. So then run client.exe. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Oh, this is sick. All right. Full screen. Oh, yeah. Um, and if you didn't already, I would recommend upping your internal resolution too. Yeah, I see that. That looks freaking horrible. I forgot about that. Uh, we will do 4K. Nearest neighbor. YOLO. Wow, that changes on the fly. I don't... That's impressive. Since when can it change that on the fly? All right. Duckstation is, like, wildly good. I'm very impressed with it as an emulator. All right, what room are we joining? Um, I'm getting my controller paired. Yeah, the Brazil. Circle and X both will bring you straight in. Um, if you end up in one, it'll either loop you back around if there is nothing in it or it's already going on, or you can hold select to go back. Wow. The fact that they just came out with this with dedicated servers from the break is just crazy. I know, it's so cool. And you can do, like, uh, adventure mode online, too. Somehow, I haven't figured it out oh, yet. Oh, wow. But... Now that's cool. Okay, yeah, Europe 3 still. Europe 3, okay. Oh, God. Okay. Buttons are buttons. Europe 3, joining. This is cool. 11 years later, this is actually functional. 11 years almost <laughs> to the day. Wait, really? it was Is May it 2013. Oh my god, that... 11 years we've been trying to make this happen, and now it happens. Oh my god, oh, there it is. There it is. Yep. Oh my god, it's real. What it's been so long. Let's hope sync is better than last time. Yeah, so far, I haven't like noticed any desync trying this. Like. It just works. And like, if it does end up desync or if there's any issues like that, it just stops and like will end the lobby instead. That's cool. I can't believe how much work has gone into this. Like a custom back end of a PS1 game. I, yeah, I'm actually like amazed. And that they used the, um, the cut screen or the cutscene as like a background screen for yeah. the lobby system. Um, something to keep in mind is that items don't work right now, so you'll always get the bomb, and oh, if you hit somebody with it, it doesn't actually do anything. Well, damn! But it's that like is being fun. worked on. I know, it's so cool. No way I'm gonna win this, but that's okay. Oh, wait. Oh, Is no! Let's do this. Oh, you started the... <laughs> oh. Rip. How did, how did you do that? It was one of the options. <laughs> You just selected adventure mode? No, it just said Insanity Beach. I was like, that's weird. Let's try it. Oh god, it's taken. <laughs> well, everybody. What? Is it gonna work? There's no way. What? That is wild. What? Are you in here? Yeah. yeah we're I'm... waiting for that fourth guy. I don't think he's gonna join. He didn't, he didn't go in the. Oh no! I think we might need to undo. Rip! Damn. I can't believe that just worked like that. I can't either!
Do you want an explanation of that, or are you sure. good to figure it out? So, <clears throat> I mean, I know how to do it, but like, I don't know how to do it efficiently. So, you start your drift, and you'll start um, pressing the other direction of whatever yeah. direction you're drifting towards to kind of even out. As the meter in your in the bottom right corner of your screen gets to being completely red, you want to press the other bumper that you're not pressing, and that'll oh. do the turbo. And then you can do up to three turbos um, before you need to start another drift, and you can do it again. And then you can oh, basically God. keep chaining those together to be able to get uh, boosts okay. repeatedly. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And then there's also another meter under that um, where every time you boost, you should see it kind of raise up a little bit. That's called your reserves. And that is the amount of boost that you have where you can just basically go just holding X and it will keep boosting you for that time until that meter is empty. God, I'm horrible with this. Okay. It's kind of funny because every so often you'll like see somebody just like off to the side or whatever, and usually those are people yeah. that are or that have disconnected or like crashed. It's like bunny hopping, but in a park. Pretty much, yeah. It's actually really similar. B hopping if you lost your momentum every time you stopped hopping. <laughs> Doing those um, chain power slides are basically like the primary like gameplay loop at the high level. Yeah. yeah I just want to shoot items at people, man. That's reasonable. All right. Well, this is really freaking cool. Yeah, I love this. I'm probably going to be playing this a lot soon. <laughs> I was playing a bunch of Risk of Rain too. And yeah. I think this is going to take the place of that for as long as people are still playing this. <laughs> yeah, that's the gist of it. I'm trash at it compared to people who actually play it pretty regularly, but it's freaking awesome. Go check it out. Links in the description. Remember to be kind. Rewind.